I mentioned on a previous post on YouTube the importance of understanding what system, visual, auditory or kinesthetic, a person might use during their communication and how advantageous it is to actually pick up on those words that a person uses so you can use those back to them. Examples of visual predicates. These are the words that are illustrative of the system that a person uses at a visual level, see, look and view. When you think about auditory, sound, hear, tell, and then when you look at things like kinesthetic predicates, words like touch, feel, and grasp, these are the words that you want to be listening out for so that you can understand what system a person uses. When it starts to get really interesting is when people embed these words into their sentences. You'll know from conversations that you have that people will say, I see what you're saying. But it's a good illustration that they're using a visual representation system. In a sales environment, you may show somebody a product or service. The prospect may say, I like the look of that. What would be advantageous to do in this situation is to actually mirror that visual language and use a sentence like, well, let's see how we can work out a, a deal for us to move forward on that basis. So these words that you want to be looking out for that will show whether somebody's visual, auditory or kinesthetic are called predicates. But let's just call them linguistic gold. Why are they gold? Because when you start to get hold of them and then use the same systems or the same types of words back to that person, it creates that harmony, that rapport and that connection that leads to loyal, long-lasting business relationships because you're communicating to that person in the way that they prefer to be communicated to.